a visual with the laser beams. So with our time about to run out this year, the plan is to use the biggest rockets and lasers yet to conduct a new experiment that will not only stimulate something unmistakable to appear at the triangle, but also reveal what the anomaly at that mile high zone actually is. Go time. Yes, sir. Jan and Travis's team had a terrifying experience while digging near the triangle at Skinwalker Ranch, known for its UFO sightings. Yan's ground-penetrating radar found something unusual above ground at the triangle. With their high-tech gear, they dug deeper than ever before, finding strange signs of hidden activity. What things are buried beneath the triangle that made the team so terrified? Let us uncover the strange creatures lurking on the ranch, hiding from the public eye. Every discovery and each bit of data the team uncovers takes a lot of hard work and careful checking, which demands both time and meticulous attention. The team is driven by the excitement of potentially finding new things, which keeps them motivated and committed to their detailed, step-by-step -step approach. The things they find might really change things around. For instance, if they happen to dig up an ancient site, it could lead to more digging and studies in that area. Or, if they stumble upon some valuable minerals or other natural resources, it might change the way companies think about and operate in the region. With Jan's experienced guidance and the high-tech tools they have, they keep digging. Deeper into the earth, dedicated to uncovering and understanding what's hidden below. It's a tough job, but it's crucial for their research work. Over the past three years, Travis and his crew have been using specialized equipment to scan the land between the Triangle and the Mesa. Their initial tests have hinted that there might be a metal tunnel hidden underground. Today, with an even better tool, John is all set to gather more data to check if this is true. They are very careful in their preparations to explore under the Triangle, sure that they can handle whatever they find. The team is hopeful that their work today will give them clear and definitive results, a nice change from previous attempts that often ended in frustration. They rely heavily on their high-tech tools to help them see what's hidden underground. As they get ready for today's exploration, there's a bit of worry that they might end up finding nothing at all, which would be another disappointment. But, they keep their focus sharp, always talking about what each finding could mean. Every beep or signal from their equipment is met with immediate interest and a cautious optimism. They're really eager to find out what's down there, even though they know they might end up with more unanswered questions. And the best part is yet to come. Travis has been working on a scanning system for a year now, aiming to get clearer images of what lies beneath the surface. He's pretty happy with the new system, often saying, perfect, when he sees the progress and improvements. Jan uses a steady method where he moves back and forth over the area, a technique called the push-broom approach. His device sends strong radio waves into the ground, which bounce back when they hit something solid, creating an image on a screen known as a radargram. This shows them what's under the ground. Although finding something big isn't common, the chance of hitting on something important keeps them going. Every time they use the radar, it could lead to a significant discovery. Jan's device is mainly used to look down into the ground, but it can also pick up signals from above. This is important because they've seen some odd things in the sky over the triangle area. If something flies over while Jan is using his radar, they might even get a picture of it. With a nod, Jan signals he's ready, and the team starts setting up their gear for the day's work. Meanwhile, Travis and his team members, including Caleb, Thomas, and someone they call Dragon, head about half a mile east to another spot, drawn by weird happenings that left them scratching their heads two weeks ago. They're setting up to launch a drone equipped with the latest infrared LiDAR technology, which will allow them to map the area in detail from above. But during its last flight, the drone started losing GPS signals over certain areas. Eric quickly noticed this, while Travis confirmed that something was messing with the drone's navigation. Driven by these tech issues, they've come back even more determined to figure it out. They've set up their launch pad with strong resolve. Travis's leadership shows both determination and hope, believing that this time their tech will get past the previous issues. Just when the team thinks they understand everything, new information pops up, 
making them dig even deeper into their research. Preparing for new challenges as they prepare, there's a quiet tension in the air. Will they run into the same problems as before, or will they finally figure out what's messing with the GPS? They're ready to test their equipment thoroughly, analyze every piece of data, and carefully examine every possible explanation for the disruptions they've faced. Now, let's dive into the strange events that continue to confuse our scientists. The team was filled with a mix of hope and apprehension as they pondered whether today's hard work would help unravel the strange occurrences and sightings reported from the sky. This scientific quest wasn't just about using fancy equipment, it was about tackling a challenging issue relentlessly until everything became clear. Every member of the team understood the value of thorough planning, accurate execution, and detailed analysis of findings. Their previous experiences with unexplained phenomena had honed their skills, equipping them to handle any new challenges in an organized manner. They were resolute in their commitment to clarify the complex situations they encountered, regardless of the difficulties involved. They had equipped rockets with GPS tracking devices and launched them into regions known for odd events, hoping to gather data that could shed light on these bizarre occurrences. They were keen to find out if any incidents triggered by these rocket launches would help illuminate the abnormalities they observed. When the rockets were launched, the equipment on the ground, particularly the ground-penetrating radar operated by John and Caleb, picked up unusual signals coming from below. These signals appeared immediately after each rocket was sent up, hinting at a potential connection between the rocket launches and the strange signals detected in the triangle area. Caleb's confusion was evident. He was intrigued by the possibility of capturing something moving overhead. His enthusiasm for understanding these unusual events was palpable, fueled by a deep interest in the data they had collected. Caleb was particularly excited about the prospect of uncovering something significant. His mind was alive with possibilities about what their research might reveal, spurring his eagerness to delve into the data. Keep watching if you want to find out more about this incredible story. Jan, who had initially been focused on using his equipment to search for hidden tunnels underground, unexpectedly detected something unusual in the sky right after their first rocket launch. This unforeseen discovery shifted the team's focus from the ground to the skies. Jan's equipment, initially designed to probe deep into the earth, was now capturing echoes from an unidentified object above them. This unexpected twist injected a fresh burst of excitement into their work. The team sprang into action, gearing up for another rocket launch. Caleb made sure everything was in place for the launch, while Eric, ever watchful, confirmed his readiness. Travis recalled their initial surprise at the discovery, highlighting how unprepared they were for such a turn of events. Driven by a strong desire to learn more and the thrill of the unexpected, the team was keen to launch another rocket immediately. They were eager to see if the same unusual event would repeat itself. As they readied for the next launch, the air was thick with anticipation. Their mission had expanded significantly, driven by curiosity and the excitement of potentially groundbreaking discoveries above the Bermuda Triangle. When the second rocket was launched, everyone was on high alert. The rocket, intended to shoot straight up, unexpectedly began spiraling out of control. It deviated from its planned trajectory and failed to reach the anticipated height, which was concerning. More oddly, there was movement spotted near the launch pad just seconds after the rocket's lift off, adding to the day's unexpected developments. The rocket's erratic behavior and the unexplained movement nearby raised doubts about the reliability of their equipment and the precision of their plans. This situation necessitated a thorough investigation into the rocket's odd behavior and the strange movement near the launch site. Understanding these issues was vital for ensuring the safety and success of future launches. It emphasized the need for more accurate models and possibly more advanced technology. As the sun rises, yesterday's findings pushed the team to keep going. But with new questions needing answers, their day is far from over. Examining incredible GPS data closely the next morning, the team was eager to see if Jan had discovered any hidden passages in the infamous Triangle area. 
they needed to review the GPS data and other information from the previous day's launch first. While hopeful, they also harbored doubts, wondering if Jan's efforts would lead to a major breakthrough or simply add to their growing collection of inconclusive results from past explorations. Their focus was to meticulously examine all the data from the rocket launch, ensuring they weren't distracted by the exhilarating prospect of uncovering hidden passages. They spent the morning analyzing the data, discussing any anomalies, and searching for significant patterns. This careful examination was crucial to ensure no important details were overlooked, as excitement could sometimes lead their focus away from the essential data. Staying focused on the concrete data from these launches was essential. They agreed that adhering strictly to the facts would provide a more solid basis for their investigation rather than being swayed by speculation. After thoroughly reviewing all the launch data, they planned to evaluate John's findings, ensuring their investigation remained grounded in verifiable facts. This methodical approach was designed to prevent them from being lured into unfounded speculations about what might lie beneath the triangle area. Odd signals and equipment glitches caused the team to get ready for another rocket launch. They noticed some weird flights over the mesa when they sent the rocket up from the eastern field. At the same time, they were using a GPS system to carefully watch its climb. Meanwhile, Jan was working with her high-tech underground radar, which began picking up strange signals from something sitting above the well-known triangle area. As the rocket went up to 2,000 feet, they closely tracked its path, marking down specific spots. The data they collected clearly mapped out the rocket's path, showing it crossed a specific part of a geographic area known as a mesa. This information was really intriguing to everyone involved because the rocket's path matched up with a place known for previous unexplained events, which they affectionately called the endpoint. But wait, there's still much more to the story than this. Not too long ago, an unknown flying object was seen entering a specific part of the mesa. The path of the rocket confirmed it followed the exact route where this object was spotted. The GPS readings pointed out this spot as a center of unusual activities. The team managed to gather solid data from the rocket launch, clearly linking its path to earlier strange events. This data became crucial as they continued to explore the area, trying to uncover more about its odd occurrences. The situation could feel like something from a sci-fi movie, where people equipped with advanced technology chase after strange flying objects. The event seemed to follow a script, almost as if everything was planned rather than part of a real scientific study. The mesa itself almost acts like a character in this tale, always hinting at strange happenings that keep everyone interested. This illustrates our natural urge to investigate and understand things that don't have a simple explanation, even though the events seem a bit too perfect. Out of nowhere, during an observation, our instruments started to act up right over the triangle area. The GPS signals got all mixed up, and it wasn't clear why. It looked as if something was intentionally messing with our gear. We realized that something was blocking our ability to collect data at Skinwalker Ranch, and these weren't just minor issues, they were major disruptions. At the same time, Caleb noticed Jan's equipment was giving off strange readings. He made a connection between these odd events. Jan wasn't just picking up normal signals, her radar had detected something unusual. Travis mentioned that Jan had set up the radar specifically for our launch. It seemed she had noticed an object in the sky right when our equipment began to have problems. Travis, trying to stay open-minded, cautiously suggested there might be something up in the sky. He found it hard to believe, but the evidence was pointing towards something interfering with our sensors and causing a lot of confusion. As we tried to fix and adjust our equipment, the issues kept coming. Every time we thought we had one problem solved, another one appeared. Caleb and Jan tweaked the radar settings, hoping to either sort out the issue or verify it was just a temporary glitch. However, the strange readings continued, suggesting this wasn't just a normal malfunction. Every answer seems to bring more strange things to light, making the team rethink their plans and strategies. Radar detects strange objects the exploration at Skinwalker Ranch moves forward with more complications surfacing. 
The team's frustration grew as these interruptions continued to block our research, making us wonder what was really happening at Skinwalker Ranch. Travis and Jan went over the data again and again, searching for any consistent pattern or logical explanation in the chaos. Despite their hard work, clear answers were hard to come by, pushing us to consider even the most unlikely ideas. Over time, we started to accept that we might not solve this quickly. The ongoing equipment failures and the unidentified object detected by Jan's radar indicated we were dealing with something extraordinary. This brought both concern and a reluctant recognition that some events might be beyond our current scientific understanding or control. Keep an eye out for more updates. In an empty field, far from typical distractions like moving animals or vehicles, a group of individuals stands focused on a sophisticated radar. This radar is actively scanning, taking measurements rapidly. What could it be detecting in such an empty space? Above, a triangle-shaped object hovers about 40 feet up. This object clearly appears on the radar's display, and everyone agrees the data is accurate. Yet, the significance of this object is hard to determine without more context. As the radar continuously sends out and receives signals, everyone looks for anything unusual. The radar has picked up an anomaly, but it's not clear yet what this means. Are we just seeing a glitch, or is there something truly unusual in the sky? The team stays focused, hoping each new piece of data will explain the strange events. The intriguing situation with the radar blip has everyone buzzing. The group is deeply engaged in discussions about what the radar shows. They're all excited about the possibility of uncovering something significant, but there's a nagging question, could their excitement be clouding their judgment? They might be so eager to discover something extraordinary that they could overlook simpler explanations. Remember, the radar is just a tool, and like any tool, it can sometimes give wrong signals or even malfunction. The investigation is ongoing, with the radar continuously scanning the triangle area. The team is a mix of wonder and intense speculation, pondering if they're possibly chasing shadows, interpreting random signals as clues. And that's not the end of it. Imagine they're in a completely still environment. You'd expect no surprises on the radar in such a quiet setting, right? They would likely keep a close watch on the radar screen, especially the lower part, expecting nothing unusual. Yet, suddenly, a dot appears. This is confusing because it contradicts the expectation that no movement equals no new data. This single dot raises questions about what's really happening in this quiet area. It suggests that there might be more going on than initially meets the eye, pushing them to rethink their basic assumptions about the situation. Originally, they believed that stillness means no change, but this isn't true here. This unexpected dot, appearing at 40 feet, challenges them to think about other potential factors at play. This occurrence is a real eye-opener, prompting them to reconsider their ideas about what is stable and what changes. There might be unseen factors influencing the readings that they haven't yet considered. This teaches them an important lesson, outcomes they assumed were predictable might not be so straightforward. The radar blip, seemingly minor, could actually be an important clue, shedding light on hidden dynamics in the area they're examining. Upon reflection, they realize that the situation might be more complex than they first thought. A seemingly insignificant detail like a radar dot could turn out to be a key piece of the bigger picture, urging them to delve deeper into understanding the factors that influence what happens in any given scenario. The discussion kicked off with attempts to clear up the confusion surrounding the recent odd occurrences. Travis brought up a rocket launch that had happened nearby, which was key in explaining why the observers were confused. John noted that their equipment had detected something unusual about 40 feet up in the sky. Travis mentioned that there was nothing visible up there, which made the situation even more confusing, suggesting that whatever Jan's equipment had detected wasn't something you could see. Are the strange occurrences at Skinwalker Ranch merely coincidences, or is there something more sinister hiding beneath the triangle? Could there be hidden creatures or unknown forces at play? Tell us what you think in the comments, and remember to like and subscribe for more intriguing discoveries.